okay welcome back today I'm going to show you how to uh, do forward and backwards so this will be lesson number one uh, for them about Neo first of all you want to make sure you login as yourself make sure you create account and login and uh, make sure you uh, create a file as and save as a lessons uh, number one okay and uh, I need some space so I'm going to uh, let me see so you maximize okay good so now I have some space in here so I can do some codings um, first of all you need to edit the device so today we're going to do the coding for the import new so click edit and make sure you edit the cyber pi yeah okay. click ok so you can see now we added cyber pi okay and what you need to do next is click connect to the import new usb com3 uh, make sure when you connect your import neo to the usb cable it will show you com uh, depend on uh, your machine you have a different number okay if you have a dongle connection wireless you can connect the dongle wireless and make sure it will be sound after that it will show you same um, uh, com number so you go ahead and click connect so as you can see I am getting error the device has been disconnected connection error so that's been an issue so let me go ahead and click connect again and click connect now it's green is connected okay I'm going to make sure you connected okay otherwise uh, you are unable to add extensions so let me go back now you need to do is you need to add extensions so when you click here and added embod 2 shield and ultrasonic sensor 2 and quad rgb sensor this is the three main components uh, extension we need to add it go ahead with the shield 2 go back extension and the ultrasonic sensor 2 go back and add quad rgb sensor so that's the main three extension we need to use for the uh, mbot 2 neo okay for the do the program as you can see you can come drag here uh, i don't have any option to drag so i can see everything but that's fine we need to have full uh, view on the coding pane okay so lesson number one what we need to do so what we need to do here is let me try to uh, diagram so let me go back I'm going to diagram this okay so okay okay so this is our import new okay so in here, we, what we need to do is we need to uh, program this robot to go forward and backwards okay so Bonio needs to go forward and without turning or anything and Bonio need to go backwards okay so this is the lesson we're going to do it so now let's go ahead and click events so when click so you can use anything you want like when space key or when you press a or anything in the keyboard you can run the script for now i'm going to use when click okay so this is the one i'm going to use it but you can use anything you want when space or when a b c d anything you can run this uh, script okay so when you click one i'm going to edit a comment uh, let 
lessons one so I'll put it here okay so now what we need to do here is we need to find the number two chassis okay so chassis is the one have all the uh, uh, parts that we need to program okay so what we need to do here is we i'm going to go with the first one okay but i'm going to take this one i'm going to uh, compare uh, what's this both uh, uh, blocks doing okay so this block this one in here this one it's a uh, ember to move forward move backward at the specific speed for the specific period so move forward move backward turn left turn right at any speed given speed rbm for a specific period today i'm going to do move forward and move backward okay so you go move forward any kind of speed so you can do any speed i'm going to go with the 35 with three seconds so it will go move forward 35 rpm for three seconds in this block this will go same forward backward turn left turn right at a specific speed there are no uh, specified period okay so what the difference is this will go forever okay unless you have a stop button so for that you need to have this okay move forward at 15 rpm and you need to make sure you have this to stop it for testing purposes it's good to have this one so you can do some testing otherwise it will go and keep rotate uh, the wheels so for this lesson i'm not going to use this in the future i will show you uh, the different scenario how we can use this one okay so now we're going to use only this and we're going to put it so um, I'm going to keep this one here okay and I'm going to take this one down here mm, so let me go ahead and put this again so now it's going forward and thirty five of E N for three second. Okay. So now this guy needs to come back again like reverse part so what we're going to do is we can get this one or we do a duplicate in here okay now let's go backward backward now we're going to put 25 rpm for two seconds you can you can do uh, testing uh, you can play with this rpm and the time and see how it goes okay for now we're going to use this two and i'm going to put the stop in code motor all i mean you don't need to do this because it will stop 25 rpm two seconds but for the best practice i'm going to put this uh, stop in code motor so let's treat as a, this is a car that we need to stop okay so this is the lesson number one uh, move forward and move backward next lesson uh, we're going to do a, a different one so we'll see on the lesson number two